Hello, dear students and test takers. Welcome back to my Grammar for Success channel. I am Koresh Babu, a retired lecturer in English from Hyderabad. In today's video, I am going to teach you about the concept and the basic rules of the speech that is direct speech and indirect speech and uh, all of you know pretty well that this grammatical aspect uh, is very very important uh, for all your competitive examinations right and uh, uh, therefore i request all of you to watch this video uh, till the end without skipping it in the middle i also request all of you if at all you happen to like this video please consider subscribing to my channel and also sharing this video with your near and dear ones and now let's get into the video speech is there speech means what speech means it is nothing but the way of reporting okay the way of reporting reporting what reporting a statement let me say a statement okay the way of reporting a statement made by whom made by some other person okay some other person this is a very very important aspect you have to understand this concept speech means the way of reporting reporting what a statement statement made by whom made by some other person maybe some he maybe some she whoever it is he made some statement and that statement we are reporting so that is called a, a speech and this speech is of two types okay the speech is of two types what are they here direct speech and indirect speech and this indirect speech is also called the reported speech reported speech or indirect speech whatever you can call it's right and what is direct speech and what is indirect speech let us learn the concept of these two things okay the definition of these two things okay right for example what is that direct speech what is direct speech mohan said i am going to college okay this is the direct speech statement and let us try to understand this sentence okay here this i am going to college is put between these two inverted commas at the beginning inverted commas double inverted commas at the end also double inverted commas are used sometimes we use single inverted commas okay single inverted commas so some people use double inverted commas whatever it is whether it is single uh, inverted commas or double inverted commas that doesn't make any big difference and here and this statement you now that is put between these two inverted commas is called what uh, direct speech whatever may be the sentence whatever may be the statement put between these two inverted commas is always called the direct speech now you have understood this direct speech and now coming to the next thing you know this said is there this said is called the reporting verb this said is always called the reporting verb because it is reporting what is this verb doing mohan said it is reporting what mohan has said so here therefore this said is always called the reporting verb and the subject of the reporting verb is is mohan this is called the subject the subject of the reporting verb mohan said who said mohan said so this is the subject of the reporting verb right and after uh, this uh, said you now we use the comma okay this is very important so the punctuation mark and after uh, the uh, direct speech you know after this full stop we, we use the inverted commas only after the full stop not before the uh, full stop that point you have to understand most of the people use uh, uh, inverted commas and then full stop no only after full stop and inverted comma this is the right thing this is not the right thing please keep this point in your mind this is all about uh, the direct speech and but for this you know the whole sentence is called uh, the direct speech sentence that's all actual direct speech is all this this is all the direct speech but for this the whole sentence is called the direct speech okay and uh, uh, mohan said i am going to college right and now let us change this sentence into indirect speech what is the indirect speech okay as yes, mohan said that uh, he was going to college see when you change this direct speech into indirect speech uh, we are using between the reporting verb and this direct speech uh, the a connecting word called that we are using that a connecting word and uh, mohan said uh, that uh, we have used that and uh, uh, i means who i means mohan when you turn this i into mohan that becomes a he and here an is there 
so you understand i am going this is present continuous you are changing this sentence into past continuous okay present continuous must be changed into past continuous so therefore when i change it into he am is this present continuous feature so after he in the past continuous what is used it was so am is turned into was going is going after two colors two colors no change at all in other words right and in this way mohan said that he was going to call it this is there and now what is the what is what is the definition of the direct speech in the direct speech we report only the words spoken by the speaker the actual words spoken by the speaker what all the actual words spoken by the speaker are expect, expressed in the direct speech or reported in the direct speech so that is the these are the actual words spoken by this mohan and in the indirect speech what we do know we report only the meaning of the words spoken by the speaker here actual words spoken by the speaker and in the indirect speech only the meaning meaning of the words spoken by that speaker so here the speaker is mohan here as it is the actual words spoken by mohan are expressed in the direct speech in the indirect speech we are expressing only the meaning of the words spoken by him right and therefore this is the direct speech and this is the indirect speech okay right mohan said i am going to college mohan said that he was going to college both convey the same same meaning okay this is the concept of the uh, speech direct speech and indirect speech okay speech right and now let's move on to the uh, other rules standing rules are there standing rules means what the most important rules to be observed while changing the direct speech into indirect speech though they are called standing rules are the most important rules okay right what is the rule one rule one is there all the present tenses in the direct speech should be changed into their corresponding past tenses in the indirect speech remember all the present tenses of the direct speech must be changed into their corresponding past tenses relevant to past tenses in the indirect speech that is the rule how let us see that here suppose if there is this direct speech and this is indirect speech okay if at all there is a, a simple present in the direct speech we must change it into uh, uh, into simple past in the indirect speech similarly present continuous tense should be changed into past continuous in the indirect speech okay present perfect tense of the direct speech must be changed into past perfect tense in the indirect speech okay present perfect continuous in the of the direct speech must be changed into past perfect continuous tense in the indirect speech similarly if at all there is simple past tense in the direct speech that must be changed into past perfect tense in the indirect speech right and here past continuous tense is there if at all there is past continuous tense already in the direct speech that must be changed into past perfect continuous tense okay in this way all these present tenses must be changed into the into these corresponding past tenses and the, and these two things are there already if there are two past simple past and past continuous they must be changed into again into past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense so keep this rule this rule in your mind this is very very important and all about the tenses i made uh, many videos uh, earlier please try to watch them if time permits you okay please if you can uh, subscribe to my channel you can watch all those previous videos also please do that right and now let's move on to the uh, examples in other way the same rule the, the same previous rule can also be expressed in this way how let us see that here direct and indirect okay how let us see that am is will be will be changed into was should be changed into am is changed into was is is also changed into was okay okay right are will be changed into were okay and have has will be changed into had okay and then what is that was were should be changed into had been okay and the shall will be changed into should and here will into would okay can into could and then may into might and then comes must into must so in this way all these uh, helping verbs uh, must be changed into uh, into these uh, helping verbs uh, in the indirect speech okay please keep this uh, also in your mind this will be very very easy and interesting for you very easy if you can follow this if you don't know the tenses you can just follow this rule
If there is is, that should be turned into was in the past in the indirect speech. If there is am, that should be turned into was. If there is a shall, that should be turned into should in the indirect speech. If there is can, that should be turned into could. Something like that. If you can follow this rule, that can be easily uh, understood. Okay, you can change the direct speech sentences into indirect speech sentences very easily, right? And now let's move on to the next slide. General present tense is there. General present tense means. Okay, it's general. That uh, the sentences with am, is, are. These are called general present tense. And uh, uh, was, were sentences with was and were are called uh, general past tense. Okay. So how to change the general present tense? She said, okay, I am happy. Am is there general present tense? Okay, here let us change into in that speech. She said that. Okay, this is the connecting word. Or it should it must be always used. And sometimes uh, nowadays in the modern English, you know, they are dropping it down. But uh, generally, we we had better use that connecting word, right? She said that uh, she. Who is I? I means I is nothing but. This is she. So that uh, this I must be turned into she. When I is turned into she, it becomes she. And you know, am is turned into was again. In the previous uh, uh, slide, you have learned that am is turned into was, is is turned into was, that you learned. And here, she said that she was happy. Similarly, what is that? She, he said, Mohan is a private, no, Mohan is a private doctor, right? Okay, Mohan, he said, Mohan, right? And now let us change it. He said that Mohan is is turned into was. Mohan was a private doctor. And here I said we are juniors. I said we are juniors, right? And how to change it into indirect speech? I said that, okay, we is always turned into they, or is turned into were. We is turned into they, the pronoun we is turned into they, or is turned into were. Therefore, I said that they were juniors. That is like that. And I'm going to teach you very shortly after. Uh, uh, a few slides, you know, uh, how to change the pronouns uh, uh, of the direct speech into indirect speech. That's very, very, very important. Uh, and uh, all of you must follow those things very carefully. Right. He said, I am a retired lecturer. He said, I am a retired lecturer. So here he said that uh, he, I means, I is always, you know, I always refers to this uh, subject of the reporting verb. I means who? The uh, speaker of the sentence. Okay. Therefore, you change this I into all gain he. So I is turned into he, I am is turned into was, I, he was a retired teacher. The remaining sentences as it is, no change at all. And I said uh, they are Australians. Here the speaker of the sentence is I, the, the people spoken about are they. That's why you know I is separate and these. Are, then you have to use them as they are. How? Let us see that. I said that they connecting word is that I said that they are is turned into were. So, I said that they were Australian players. This is how you have to change it from direct speech into indirect speech. Very simple. You follow this, you observe this carefully. You can understand all these things very easily. And now let's move on to the next uh, uh, slide. Simple present tense must be changed into simple past. Simple present tense of the direct speech must be changed into simple past in the the indirect speech. That's what you understand. So, a few examples here I'm giving you. He said, I go to college on foot. This is this is simple present. So, the uh, report, the subject of the reporting where we see, he, he said, I go to college on foot. And now, how to change it into indirect speech? He said that up to that connecting word you always use. Okay. Okay. Let us not talk about that. He said that. Who is I here? I is nothing but this he. So when you change this I into he, it becomes again he. And here, this is simple present tense because in the simple present there is a base form verb. Okay, base form verb is there. And when you change this base form verb, you no, know, when you change it, this uh, uh, simple present into simple past. In the simple past, what happens? Past tense verb is used. So what is the past tense verb of go? Went. Therefore, he said that he went to college on foot. I go is turned into he went. And now let's move on to the next uh, uh, sentence. She said, I learned Spanish in three months. Right. So, I learn is simple present. Okay. Now, let us change it into uh, indirect speech. She said that, who is I here? I is turned into she. Then it I becomes she. Okay. Whenever there is I in the direct speech, that must be changed according to the subject of the reporting verb. Okay. That I am going to tell you after a few uh, slides. Okay. I is when I is turned into she, it becomes she. Learn is become, uh, learn is turned into learnt because learn is a base form verb. 
that is the feature of the simple present tense when you change this learn into learn that is the feature of uh, past simple past tense okay in the simple present base form verb is used in the simple past tense past tense verb is used and therefore learn is a base form verb and learnt is a past tense verb okay learn is therefore turned into learnt go is turned into went something like that and now you go to the third sentence they said we often watch telugu serials they said okay now let us see that they said that they who, we means who they they said we often watch telugu series we means who this we refers to only they when you we is turned into they it becomes they and often is an ordinary word as it is watch is turned into watched because the base form verb is the past tense form of the verb so they said that they often watch the telugu series this is simple present this is simple past simple present simple past simple present simple past let's go to the next sentence i said he never attends the english classes i said he never attends the english classes so then what do you say i said that this the speaker of this sentence is i the person spoken about in this sentence is he these two are separate persons and therefore they are used as they are i i he he that's all so when these two persons are different then you use them then you make use of them as they are so here i said he as it is never as it is attends this turned into attended i said that he never attended the english classes and now you go to the next example they said she likes sweets very much she likes so she likes is the simple present tense okay and uh, the speaker of the statement is they and uh, the person spoken about in this sentence is she this person is different and this person is different. these two persons are different and therefore you use them as they are okay then what is it they said that she likes becomes like is turned likes is turned into like sweets okay very much very much okay only the simple present is turned into simple past tense okay this is how you have to change the simple present tense of the direct speech avoid uh, into simple past in the indirect speech okay uh, right now let's go to the uh, next uh, example second one present continuous is turned into past continuous tense the present continuous of the direct speech must be turned into the past continuous in the indirect speech okay that is the point now let us see that here they said we are going to picnic so what is the tense of the uh, direct speech we are going we are going with present continuous okay this should be changed into indirect speech Uh, this should be changed into past continuous in the indirect speech right they said okay reporting verb is always said remember that they said okay and now let us see that they said that here we means who they so when you change we into they it becomes they so they said that we and you know very well or is always turned into verb already you have learned a shortcut rule okay am is am is are turned into was r is turned into were something like that okay so therefore the r is turned into they going to picnic going to pick no change at all in that in those words right and uh, that is there the meaning also easy he said i am to go i am doing the homework okay he said i am doing the homework this is this direct speech in the di uh, in the uh, present continuous tense right and now let's go to the indirect speech he said that he was doing i am when i is there that should be that should always be turned into the subject of the reporting verb what is the subject here he so when i is changed to he it becomes he when if, if there is she when i is turned to she it becomes she something like that please keep this rule in your mind he said that he was doing the homework so am is turned into was doing is doing like that and here uh, i said she is cooking breakfast okay again in the direct speech there is present continuous tense now let us change it into the uh, into in direct speech okay uh, what is that i said that she was cooking you know very well how how has it become so the speaker of the sentence is i the the person spoken about is she these two persons are different so when the two persons are different reporting verb subject okay and uh, direct speech subject when these two subjects are different you use them as they are okay i as she as okay i said that she is is turned into was cooking cooking that's all so i said that she was cooking breakfast and you go to the next uh, sentence she said they are working in infosys okay again present continuous okay the speaker of the sentence is she and the person spoken about are they 
these two are different persons so you use them as they are okay she said that they they are is turned into work working in infosys working in so something like that and one more example here i am going to give you we said mohan is preparing for the interview so here the speaker of the sentence is we the spoke, the person spoken about is mohan so there are different persons so use them as they are so how let us see that here we said okay we we mohan sorry mohan was is the is in the present present can you was is past continuous i have wrongly used it so uh, it's a typographical mistake mohan was preparing for the interview okay this is how you have to change the present continuous of the direct speech into past continuous in the indirect speech right and now let's move on to learn the uh, learn about present perfect tense third one is present perfect tense into past perfect tense so present perfect when pres present perfect tense is in the that speech that should be changed into uh, past perfect in the indirect speech okay how i'll give you some examples to make you understand she said ravi has failed in all the subjects okay so reporting the subject of the reporting verb is she the person spoken about in the sentence is ravi these two persons are different so use them as they are and the main other things you can change right okay uh, what is that uh, here you pay attention she said that okay she said that okay ravi ravi has is always turned into had have has should be turned into had that is there okay the, what are the features of present perfect have or has these things must be changed into had that's all the thing but if, even whether there is have or has that must be changed into had okay ravi has ravi had okay all other things are as they are without any change right and here is i said she has broken the glass tumble tumbler glass tumbler glass tumbler means tumbler glass don't say glass glass tumbler means glass but uh, we don't use this word uh, tumbler we only say glass okay right we should not say that but uh, glass tumbler we have to say right so i said that she had has it turned into had that's all because the speaker of the sentence is i the person spoken about in the sentence is she both of them are different so use them as they are and has is turned into had or the rest of the sentence is the same right and here third one he said they have not attended the meeting so again the subjects are different the subject of the reporting verb is he the uh, subject uh, about whom we are talking in the uh, direct speech is different that is they so he different he and they are different therefore we use them as they are he said that they have is turned into had okay this is very important remaining sentence is the same no change at all this is how we change present perfect of the direct speech into past perfect in the indirect speech please keep this part in your mind right and now let's move on to the uh, next uh, uh, tense present perfect continuous should be changed into past perfect continuous tense okay if there is present perfect continuous in the direct speech that must be changed into past perfect continuous in the indirect speech that's very important right some examples he said it has been raining since morning okay so the person speaking this sentence is different the person or the thing being spoken about in the sentence is different that is it okay this person is speaking about it right these two are different that's why we use them as they are that's what i should like to tell you he said that it it is as it is and has is turned it had been remain been raining been raining you no know, change when you change this first helping verb into pa, um, this one when you change this into has into had need not change because after has also you find been after had also you find been and therefore once you change this has into had no need of changing the remaining sentence the remaining tense very simple and very easy but, okay, i'll give you one more example they said we have been playing cricket for the last 4 hours okay and uh, here the speaker of the sentence is they okay the speaker of the uh, no the person spoken about to they only because we 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 means what it is referring to the the person uh, being um, the person speaking in the sentence we means who they again so that's why let us they are both are the same they said that they they when you we change it to they it becomes uh, uh, it is it is it becomes they they said we have we means again they so when this when there is we in the direct speech that must be changed into they and again have is turned into had afterwards been been because been doesn't change when you change the helping verb into past tense automatically the remaining sentence will be as it is 
because after have been is used after had also been is used and therefore there is no problem and one more example i would like to give you i said she has been watering the plants okay the speaker of the sentence is i the person spoken about in the sentence is she both are different persons and now let us see that here i said that she has it turned it had had been been is been watering that is as it is so this is how we change it, the present perfect continuous tense of the direct speech into past perfect continuous tense in the indirect speech so please keep all these rules in your mind okay it will become very easy for you simple past tense is there that should be turned into past perfect okay if at all there is simple past in the direct speech that must be changed into past perfect in the indirect speech how let us take some examples to understand this rule okay he said i passed the exam in the first class what is the tense used or given in the uh, direct speech simple past i pass simple past so whenever there is simple past in the direct speech that must be changed into past perfect tense past perfect means the tense having uh, had as the helping verb you know that very well so here uh, i'll see he said that i means who he so when always this i in the dad speech will be turned will be changed according to the subject of the reporting verb if there is he it is turned into he if there is she it is turned into he if there is i it is turned into i that's all please always this i is changed like that okay and now he said that you know i pass it is the simple past tense and it is turned into past perfect had plus pp okay so he had passed the exam in the past class okay how do you follow me i is turned into he and uh, passed it, simple past it is turned into past perfect. past perfect means had plus past participle form of the verb so you use this had and then past participle form of the verb passed passed so he had passed the exam in the past class that is it he said they boycotted the classes she said okay the speaker of the sentence is uh, she the the person spoken about in the sentence in the direct speech uh, are they these two persons are different okay now let us use them as they are she said that okay they they boycotted the simple past now change it to past perfect had boycotted passed had passed boycotted had boycotted something like that okay and last example here they said we lost the way in the forest we lost way okay and uh, here they said that they we means who they when we turned into the subject of the reporting where that becomes they so they said that they had lost lost is simple past had lost is past perfect and that's why they had lost the way in the forest okay it is there so this is how we have we can we change it. the simple past of the direct speech into past perfect in the indirect speech right and now let's move on to the uh, last rule past continuous tense into past perfect continuous tense if at all there is past continuous in the direct speech that will be changed into past past perfect continuous tense in the indirect speech okay so let us take some examples what is that he said i was helping the poor so this is the their speech is in the past continuous tense and now let us change this sentence into past perfect continuous tense how let us see that here he said that he had been helping okay past continuous was plus were are the helping verbs used in the past continuous tense and in the past perfect tense had been should be used so it's a blind principle blind rule when there is was or were in the direct speech that should be turned into had been that's all there is no need of changing uh, the remaining sentence right and he i is when i is turned into he it is it becomes he again so he said that he was and this was it turned into had been was or were had been helping helping the poor the poor so it's like that so one more example he she said the farmers were plowing the fields right and here the she said that the farmers okay this subject is different and this subject is different so both subjects are used as they are right were is there when there is were it should be turned into had been afterwards plowing plow because after were you use the ing form where after had been also use the ing form where therefore there is no need to change the ing form where the main verb that's why once you change the helping verb helping verbs and the main verb you need not change it that is the point i would like to drive to you right and uh, they said we were swimming in the pool right and here see they said that they have been swimming in the pool so here we means they 
when you when the when this we is changed into they it becomes they right what is again had been swimming is swimming that's all so in this way you change the past continuous of the direct speech into past perfect continuous tense in the indirect speech and now let's go to learn some other rules okay rule 2 is there all the words indicating nearness in the direct speech should be turned into the words indicating distance in the indirect speech. So, this is also a very, very important rule. Please keep this rule. First one is all the present tenses of the direct speech must be changed into their corresponding past tenses in the indirect speech. That is the first rule. And the second rule is all the words indicating nearness must be changed into the words indicating distance in the indirect speech okay how i'll give you a list of those words direct and indirect okay here you pay attention this in the words in the direct speech if there is this in the direct speech that should be changed into that okay and similarly these into those okay and now into then okay and today into that day right and here yesterday into the day before or the previous day you have to keep all of them in your mind and then comes tomorrow into the uh, the next day or the following day right last day last night is turned into the previous night or the night before and then comes uh, here into there okay and ago into before okay and then comes this evening into that evening okay and thus into so in this way all these words of the direct speech must be changed into these words in the indirect speech please keep this rule in your mind please if you can uh, read these things and keep them in your mind and there will be no problem at all and you can uh, what's that uh, you can easily solve all the questions uh, based on this rule okay in your competitive examinations and now let us move on uh, to learn about these things uh, with examples okay he said i shall leave for mumbai tomorrow so here this is simple future you know that very well and we use only this one these are the two important things okay here you see that he said that he would leave no when i is turned to he it becomes he but with he we use we don't use a shall we use only will okay and if this since this is in the in the uh, indirect speech we should change it into would so he actually takes will and in the indirect speech, he would, that's past tense, no? So, I shall is turned into he would in that way. Leave is always like that because after shall or will, the main verb is the base form verb. After would and should also, the main form is the, the main verb is the base form verb. And therefore, when you once change the helping verb, there is no need of changing the main verb oh, except in the simple present tense. If there is simple present tense, you must change that sentence into simple past. Except that uh, in all other, you can say, examples, you know, you have learned, once you change the helping verb, there is no need of changing the main verb. That point. Here, when you, you, have, to tell, you have changed shell into wood and leave, leave, no problem, no change at all. For Mumbai, no. Tomorrow means the next day. So, that point you have to understand. So, to teach you this, this thing, I have, I'm giving you these examples. Okay, one more example. They said, we may not meet her this week. Okay, yes. Now, let us see that uh, they said that. We means what? They. They means that's what they said. May is turned into might. All of you know, well, not meet, not meet, right? Her, her, okay. This week is turned into that week. This is turned into that. This is the word indicating nearness. That is the word indicating distance. And that's why it's like that. And one more example. I said, I don't like these photos. These photos, I don't like these photos, right? And here, I said that I don't is simple present, didn't is simple past. So, I don't, I is, when I is turned into I, again it becomes I. Don't is turned into didn't, like, like, okay. These photos is turned into those photos, like that. And here, one more example. She said he came here yesterday, okay? And here, she said that he, no? The speaker of the sentence is he, she, the uh, person spoken about is he, these two are different persons, therefore they are used as they are. So, he came is turned into he had come because simple past is turned into past perfect, you know that very well. Uh, so, he came, you know, he had come, here is there, yesterday is the previous day, so it's like that. Here is turned into there, yesterday into, into the previous day. So, in this way, all the words indicating nearness must of the direct speech must be changed into the words indicating distance. So, to show you that one, I am giving you all these examples. Rule 3 is there. When the reporting verb is in the present tense, 
say or says very important all the all present or future tenses of the their speech will remain as they are without any change okay so if the reporting were be said okay the all the previous rules you have to observe and now one important thing is there if the reporting where we say or says then in the direct speech whatever may be the tense whether it is present tense or future tense that will remain as it is okay right and here no change of okay she says simple present i shall send messages only on whatsapp okay here simple future is there this is simple present okay she says that I is turned into she. Okay, she. She takes. She doesn't take shell. That's why no. She will. Okay, she will send messages on. So no, no change of uh, tense at all. So that is as it is. Simple future is re has remained as simple future tense only. It has not changed into any other tense. That is the point. And here you pay attention. He she, he says Anita is a hard working girl. Okay, Anita is okay. This is general present tense. Okay, right. And here you pay attention. She, he says that Anita is Anita is Anita is because the uh, reporting verb is uh, the present tense. Say or says. Okay, right. One more example is given here. She, they say we have a holiday tomorrow. They say that they have a holiday the next day. So in this way, when the reporting verb is say or says, the present tenses are the future tenses of the direct speech will remain as they are without any change this point you have learned from this rule 3 right and now let's move on to the uh, next rule rule 4 is there the present tense of the direct speech does not change if the statement is still relevant or if it is a universal truth even though the reporting verb is in the past tense okay this rule is very very important what is the rule sir even if present tense of the direct speech does not change even if the statement is still relevant still relevant means still present tense or if it is a universal truth okay when even though the reporting verb is in the past tense that is said even though the reporting verb is said and if, if the sentence given in the direct speech is a Uh, a general truth or a universal truth uh, that should, that will remain as it is. You don't. You need not change it into past tense. So that is what we learn here. So, for example, here repair. The teacher said the Jupiter has ninety-five uh, moons. So the teacher said the reporting verb is in the past tense. But here the sentence is a, a universal truth. Whether you believe in that or not, uh, the Jupiter has uh, this is the largest planet you know very well in the solar system, and this solar, this Jupiter has ninety-five moons. Our Earth has only one moon, you know that very well. So this is a gen this is a universal truth. When there is a universal truth or a general truth uh, in the direct speech, it will remain as it is, even though the reporting verb is said or in the past tense. Past tense means said, right? so here you pay attention the teacher said that the jupiter has 95 don't say the jupiter had 95 no it's like see she said water boils at a, at 100 degree celsius you know that very well and here it's a universal truth right and here you see she said that water boils at 100 so though the reporting verb is in the past tense this uh, uh, since this is a uh, universal truth okay we use this uh, as it is without any change right one more example is given here galileo said the moon revolves around this earth so this is again a universal truth so that should be expressed as it is that will remain as it is in the indirect speech okay galileo said that okay it's a reporting verb is in the past tense so the moon revolves it's a universal truth so therefore the moon revolves around the around the earth so in this way if there is a general truth or a universal truth in the direct speech even though the reporting verb is in the past tense that is said the uh, direct speech does not change the tense in the direct speech does not change whatever may be the tense here generally all the university universal, universal truths will be expressed only in the simple present so that simple present only will be as it is no change at all in the tense right now let's move on to the uh, next uh, uh, examples okay note it should be borne in mind that it is optional whether to keep the original tense as it is or change it okay uh, one note is also there so just now i have told you that the tense in the direct speech should not change uh, when there is a general truth or a universal truth okay but here one note is there what is that you should be born in mind that uh, it is optional if you want to change it into the relevant past tense you can do it if you don't want to change it also it is okay 
If you change it, okay. If you don't change it also, it is okay. That's what it, uh, he, uh, it is said here. Okay. Gopi said, I know her address. Okay. I know her address. This is a general truth. I know her address. Gen Universal truth is different from general truth. I know her. Knowing her address is a fact. It's a general truth. Okay. And uh, you can change it into Gopa, Gopi said, he knows her address. When I change it to Gopi, Gopi is third person's he, that's why it is turned into he. That's why uh, no is turned into no, simple present tense. Okay. This is simple present tense and this is simple present tense. Only the person has changed here. Gopi said that or that also that you can use, you need not also use. Okay. Gopi said he knows her address. You can say Gopi said he knew her address. Generally what happens, you know, the simple present tense will be changed into simple past in the entire speech. So, like that you can say, Gopi said he knew her address. That's also correct. Gopi said he knows her address. Simple present. That means, you know, when there is simple present or, you know, all the uh, general truths are expressed in the simple present. All the universal truths are expressed in the simple present. So, when that is there, you can change it into, uh, you can, you can, cha you can say change it into past tense or you can, you need not change it also. You can keep it as it is also. Okay. That is what he says. Right. One more example he is here given. The teacher said, okay, the earth goes around. It's again a general, uh, a universal truth. Okay. And then you say, the teacher said that the earth goes around the sun. Okay. Because earth goes around the sun is a universal truth. So you can say that. You can also say, the teacher said the earth went around. So you can keep this uh, uh, universal truth or general truth as it is in the same tense. Sometimes you can also change it into the past tense. It is up to you. It is optional means it is up to you whether you can change it or need not. Uh, don't change it. That doesn't make any big difference. Okay. English is easy to learn. So it's a uh, general truth. English is very easy to learn. Right. And uh, he said, okay, she said English is easy to learn. Okay. As it is. Okay. And he said English was easy also. So as it is, you can use. Okay and change it into past tense also you can do. Either way you can change, it is up to you, it is optional, this point you have. Right? And uh, now let us move on to the uh, next rule. Rule 5 is there. The reporting verb said to should be changed into told. So far you have learnt uh, the sentences with the said only as a reporting verb. But now you are going to learn uh, the sentences with the said to. Said is the reporting verb. Said to is also reporting verb. Whenever said to is used, after this you have to use an objective case pronoun. And here, whenever there is said to in the dire speech, that should be changed into told. Okay. This point you have to understand. How he said to me, I am unwell. Said. So, after said to, object must be used. He said, with whom? To whom? No, it is not there. But here he said, he said to, uh, to whom? To her, to him, to me, to us, to them. Any, anything you can use. Because you know, you, these are all called objects. Whenever there is said to, you have to change it into told. He told me, said to, he turned to me as it is, that I, I is in when I is turned into he, he. I am is turned into was. He told me that he was unwell. That is the way how to change it. Next, she said to him, I am going to college. So, said to is turned into told. Oh, told him that I is turned to she, then it becomes she. I am is turned into was. Going, going to college, going to college. No problem. Step by step, word by word, you keep on changing. It will be easy for you. Right. I said to her, Ravi has solved the problem. Right. And here you see, I told her that Ravi had problem. These two persons are different and here I is different from Ravi. So, the persons are used as they are. So, has he turned it had? So, right. Ravi had solved the problem. You know that very well, very clearly. He said to them, tomorrow is a holiday. Yes, now what do you say? He told them, said to his turn and told. So, this point, your focal element is this one. Focal point is this one. From these examples, what you are learning is that the reporting where if it is said to, should be changed into told. If it is said, keep it as it is, said only. But if it is said to, you must change that said to into told. This is the point you are learning from all these examples. Okay, All these examples, you know, all these rules you have already learnt. I need not uh, uh, teach them again. So, he told them, okay, said to his turn, he told them that uh, 
tomorrow means the next day this also you have learnt already easy turn it was already a holiday a holiday so it's like that last example he said to us gopal met with an accident said to now said to should be turned into told Go, she said to us that gopal had met this is simple past and this is past perfect already i have told you about this so here from all these examples you learn that uh, whenever there is said to in the direct speech uh, that must be changed into told in the indirect speech that point you have learnt now and now let's go to the next very important aspect most important rules are there regarding the change of pronouns very very important please keep these things in your mind most important rules if you are thorough in these three rules you know and uh, there will be no problem at all Uh, for you in solving the uh, speech direct speech in direct speech questions in the competitive examinations right and how let us see that here the the pronouns i me my mine of the direct speech should be changed into indirect speech only in accordance with the subject of the reporting verb so remember i me my mine these are the first person pronouns right and they should be changed into indirect speech only in accordance with the subject of the reporting verb that means what is the reporting the subject of the reporting verb he or she or i according to the he or she or i only we have to change these pronouns okay please keep this point in your mind how i'll give you uh, uh, this thing i me my inverted commas means this is they are if they are in the direct speech that is what i mean to say okay direct speech if the subject of the reporting verb okay he is he the pronouns must be changed like this i is turned into he when i is turned to he it becomes he when me is turned into he it becomes him okay when my is turned into he it becomes his when mine is turned into he it becomes his okay please most of the students feel very difficult in in changing these pronouns into indirect speech please keep this thing in your mind and uh, suppose if the uh, subject of the reporting verb is like this if at all if it is she then what happens if the if this i is changed into change she it becomes she if it if me is changed into she it becomes a her okay if my is changed into she it becomes her if mine is changed into she it becomes a hers and i is there suppose i if there is i i said is there take for granted if i is changed into i i becomes i me is into me that's why i have not given this i because if the reporting the subject of the reporting verb is i again i is when i change it i i only me into me my into my that's all mine that's why i have not mentioned that only whenever the subject of the reporting verb is either he or she the pronouns i me my mine must be changed like this please keep this point in your mind i'll give you some examples to make you understand this he said my watch is very expensive so my watch my my when my is changed into he when my is changed into he it becomes his so that's why what should you say he said that my is turned into his watch is what is is was you no know, is is turned into was all of the rules already you have learned and therefore i no, don't like to stress them second example she said i have done my homework i is there my is there these two things are there i and my how to change them according to the subject of the reporting verb so i is there my is there so when i change into you no know, she it becomes she when my is changed into she that becomes her please i'll give you the sentence here she said that she had has have uh, turned into had done then my is turned into her have you seen that very simple one more example i would like to give you her he said she called me a fool here me is given when me is turned into he what happens when me is turned he it becomes him so that's why he said that she had called him a fool me is turned into fool because she called it simple past it turned to past perfect these rules already you have learned i am not talking about those rules on the slide you know you are learning only uh, about the change of pronouns one more example i think i'll give you here she said the car is mine mine is given so she when mine is changed into she that becomes a hers that's why you say that she said that uh, the car was hers easy turned into was 
minus tan to hertz minus tan to hertz. So, like that, please look at these examples, this slide again and again in order to learn how to change these pronouns into indirect speech. Most of the most of the students feel it very difficult in changing these pronouns. Okay, I mean mine, they are okay. And let us learn about the uh, next pronouns. Okay. Rule 2 is there. The pronouns you, your, you of the direct speech should be changed with an indirect speech only in accordance with the object of the report. These pronouns must be changed into indirect speech according to the object of the reporting verb. Object means the verb, the, the reporting verb must be set to. Subject means this side. Object means this side. Okay, you know very well. So here you pay attention. You, subject you. Subject U is U, object U is also U. That's why here I have written this one. Subject U, object U, right? U means U, singular U, single plural U. U means, okay, I give you, I give you, I help you, okay? Object U, U, right? And here he said to me, see, this is the reporting verb. Remember that? So, this is the subject of the reporting verb. This is the object of the reporting Object of the reporting verb, subject of the reporting verb. Please, according to the object of the reporting verb, we have to change you, you or you, if at all they are given in the direct speech. If at all me is there, then you, when you is turned into me, it should be turned into I. You are, when you are is turned into me, it becomes my. When you is turned into me, it becomes me. Similarly, he said to him, when you is turned into him, it becomes he. Subject you. That means you, you this subject you. When subject is changed into subject, sub, you when you, then the subject is changed into me, the subject of me is I. The subject of him is he, like that. Subject. Okay. When you is changed into him, it becomes his. When you is changed into him, object. It is the object again, object. Same. Right. Subject. Um, one more example. He said to her, if the object of the reporting verb is her, then if you is turned into her, subject you is turned into her, that becomes subject, she, she is the subject, right. And when you are is turned into her, that becomes her. When uh, object you is turned into object her, then it becomes her, okay. Subject you, object you. She said to them, object, if when, you, when, when you change this you into them, that becomes they. Subject you into this one that becomes subject. You are into them, they. So object you into them, them. That's as it is. Because this is these are objects, these are also objects, no change. The the subjects of these things are these things. Only the pro possessive pronouns, these are my, his, her, their, like that. And here you pay attention, last one. When the object of the reporting verb is us, the, the pronouns, these you, you are you must be changed like this. When you is turned into us, that becomes we. When you are is turned into us, it becomes our. When the object is turned into us, that becomes us. So, in this way, this is very, 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 very important from all your examinations point of view. Please, subject you. When subject you is turned into these objects, uh, subjects of these persons will become. Object into object, object. Only possible case is uh, like that. So, please keep these things in your mind. And now, let us move on to the uh, examples. Academical. Example, she said to me, I know you and your father. Object is there. In this, you know, I is there. You is there. You are. So, remember, you look at this uh, direct speech. Okay, this is the direct speech. I, I is changed according to this sub, subject of the reporting verb. And you, you are according to this object. So, how? Let us see that here. She said to his turn into told, me is there. Okay, that. I, when I is turned to she, it becomes T. I know, no is simple present, that's why it has become simple past, no, new. So, this is the object to you, okay. When the object you is turned into object, we can say object, then it becomes only. This is object you, object. When object is changed to object, then it becomes again object. Okay. And your father, your is, when your is turned into me, that becomes my, my, your father means my father. So, it's like that. You have to change it.
दे सेट टू हिम हिम इज द ऑब्जेक्ट हियर वी नो यू वी यू एंड यूर फादर वी इज देयर वी इज चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्क दिस यू एंड यूर आर चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्क सो हाउ लेट एस सी दैट शी टोल्ड हिम दैट वेन वी इज टर्न इन टू दे इट बिकम्स दे राइट दे नो दे न्यू सिंपल प्रेजेंट सिंपल पास्ट राइट एंड हियर uh you when you this object is turned into object that becomes object okay and this is you know your father is turned into him that becomes his father so the same sentence i am giving these things differently okay so he said to her object is her i know you and your father this i is changed according to this this you and your are changed according to this how let us see that he told her that when i change to he it becomes he you know that when simple present is turned into simple past and this you is turned when you this object you is turned into object that becomes as it is okay your father is turned when your is turned into her that becomes her father your father is turned to her father right and then comes we said to them we know you and your father right and uh, he said okay this we should be turned according to this and uh, you should be turned according to this you were should be turned according to this right and he said you know uh, we told them that uh, we knew we 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 that's all okay and uh, uh, you when you is turned into them that becomes as it is object 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 that's all you were when you were is turned into them that becomes they your father is turned into their father and last example here is there he said to us i know you and your father so i is there so you and you were so this i must be changed according to the she so you and you were according to this as okay come on and how she said to is turned into told she told us that i when i is turned into she it becomes she i know she knew right and this object is when when this object is turned into object and that becomes an uh, the same object your father is turned into our father your is your when your is turned into as that becomes our father so in this way in all you know the pronouns you your you of the direct speech must be changed into the indirect speech only in accordance with the object of the reporting verb okay object what can be the object me can be the object him can be the object her can be the object them us this can be the object so if the uh, according to these objects uh, the pronouns you your you must be changed okay i have given you the table you please follow the table right and now let's move on to the uh, last rule a few more examples are given on the same rule because it's very very important he said to her okay object your watch is very nice your watch this your you just look at this sub direct speech is there any i me my mine is there any you you are you you have to check it so you are is there this you are must be changed according to this subject object of the reporting verb okay so when you are is turned into her that becomes her right here you pay attention he told her that her said to is turned into told her is her that you are when you are is turned into her that becomes her your watch is turned into her watch is is to was that's all all other things are the same and one more example the headmaster said to them you have to pay your fees in time you have to pay so in this sentence you is there your is there these two pronouns must be changed according to the object of the reporting where what is the object here them is there so according to this them only we have to change these two things okay right uh, let me say the headmaster said to is told them into them that okay up to here is everything is okay then you you means this subject you then when subject you means so this is a verb you know before the verb if you comes it is a subject you if you comes after after this verb it is the object you if the you comes before the verb it is subject you if it comes after the verb it is it is called object you okay here have is the verb okay before that only you is given that means subject you when you change this you the subject you into this object that becomes subject you, you subject into object subject you what is the subject of the them uh, uh, what is the subject of them they so the subject when the subject is changed into uh, object you have to change this into they it's a object you into them is there okay right and have to is to be changed into had to pay your fee your fee your means you when you are is turned into them it becomes uh, their your fees is turned into their fees in time and then go to the last example he said to us you 
should wear your mask immediately after you board the train. So, you is there, you are is there, again you is there. This is the subject to you, this is the subject to you, this is the pronoun, the first pronoun, right. And here, uh, now let us see that here. He told us, okay, that when you change this subject to you into object, that becomes we, subject, okay. He told us that we should wear, you were into us is, is you know, it will become our. You are into us will become our. Your mass will become our mass. Immediately after uh, you board means, you means when you turn, he is turned into this us, it becomes we. We board, something like that. So, in this way, please watch these examples again and again and try to find out the things, you know. I am not uh, say, teaching these things in Telugu medium. That is why you might feel it will be difficult in understanding these things. Okay, anyway, please watch it again and again. If you watch it one, once or twice or thrice, uh, automatically the rule will just come into your mind and it will be easier for you to understand all these things. No problem at all. Right. And uh, please, let us go to the last rule. So, the rule 3 is that this is the last rule, the pronouns of we, our, us. Right from the beginning, I have been telling you that. We, our, us. If at all in the direct speech, if there are, okay, if there are, we, our, us, these pronouns, uh, they, they must be changed into they, they, them. Okay, we, our, us. Okay, they, they, them. their speech, we into they, our into they, us into them, that is all, this is a table you have to follow, okay, right, he said our holidays are over, right, he said that our is turned into their already, direct, no hesitation at all, our holidays means their holidays, our, our is turned into our, okay, right, and she said we have done our homework, uh, we have done our job successfully well, we is there, our is there, now, what, how to do, how to change them, we is turned into they, our is turned into they, rest of the thing is the, rest of the words are as they are, okay, no change at all. And uh, uh, they said we never resort to ragging in our college, we is there, our is there, okay, okay. And here you see that, uh, they said that uh, they, we means what, they, they never, okay, we is always turned into they, okay, they never resorted to ragging in their, our is turned into their, always, you just keep this rule in your mind like anything, our is turned into their college campus. So, in this way, the pronouns we, our, us must be changed into they, their, them, okay, respectively in the indirect speech, okay, right. In this way, this video comes to an end, right, now let us uh, uh, wind it up. Dear students and test takers, thank you so much for watching this video. Yes, if you find any difficulty in understanding any rule, please may mention it in the comment section. Okay, make use of that section. And if you have any problem with regard to the uh, with regard to this direct speech and indirect speech, please mention it in the comment section. And uh, with another beautiful video, I'll be back to you. Until then, bye. See you all of you. Right, bye.